understand by you denying you are the loser same way the earlier you catch this truth that everything exists in your consciousness you exist in everything your life will become high end life the earlier you catch it better your life will become more matured your life will become only when you understand the person you are searching for you is you you will be full he will be full it will be completion from completion to completion there is a next level of cognition a guru will tell everything is consciousness you exist in everything everything exists in you this is the truth you don't even need to wait for this truth this cognition to be matured in you go and face the challenges till it becomes matured in you i will protect you and see to it how this cognition responds to me it will respond the same way to you once it becomes matured it will automatically respond to you in the same way till it becomes matured i am there to protect you and save you go and do it this is nityananda way of interpretation that is what i am doing in shivoham yes this is the truth the cognition has to become matured in you all this is true but till then also you don't need to wait i have the veto power and right to protect you when you are standing and working with this truth go and do it i'll be there singapore blessings to bala vidyalaya temple children's temple my blessings to all the kids how i played with the deities and became nityananda same way i bless all you guys you will all play with deities and become nityananda <laughs> blessings to all you guys <laughs> blessings to all you guys blessings adi i accepted your aarti <laughs> and all the kids blessings to all the kids <laughs> we will start thousands and thousands of children's temple <laughs> blessings and the mahadeva and devi and me all of us will be present and bless all the kids who play with us seattle blessings to northwest yoga conference my blessings whoever you enrich all of them will have the benefit of yoga kalpataru and kriya blessings i am with you be blissful tamil nadil nitya dhyana yoga mugamil kalandukondirukkum ella anbargal aavadi velacheri taramangalam mettur ponneri tiruvannamalai madurai osur selam ella oorgalilum nitya dhyana yoga vil kalandukollum எல்லா அன்பர்களுக்கும் பூரண ஆசிகள் நீங்கள் எண்ணியவையெல்லாம் எண்ணியாங்கு ஈடேறி எல்லா நலனும் பெற்று திண்ணியர் ஆவீர்களாக என்று ஆசீர்வதிக்கின்றேன் ஆனந்தமாக இருங்கள் இன் திஸ் பாடி ஐ மெட் சுவாமிஜி ஆன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் சிவராத்திரி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மை மதர் ஐ காட் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு கம் டு சுவாமிஜி வைல் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஐ வாஸ் வெரி ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ட் அண்ட் கன்ஃபியூஸ்ட் I had a very good experience after uh, doing the Nitya Dhyan meditation. The moment I entered the ashram, I saw Swami Ji coming in. Uh, just by one look, a deep connection happened with Swami Ji. After that, I did so many programs. I had a wonderful experience. And whatever I have achieved in my life so far, I am going to achieve. It is just only because of Swami Ji's inspiration and His words. Bajana karo nitya namam maduram bajana karo nitya namam maduram bajana few years back 
Swami Ji travelled to Kailash. When he came back from Kailash, he was explaining the mystical dimensions and the significance of the place. Because of that only, even I decided to travel to Kailash. After seeing Kailash, my life completely transformed. Every moment I am living because of Swamiji's inspiration. His words are so powerful. It can just pierce and touch your very soul and transform from the very core. Now, I have dedicated my life for Kailash travel and Advaita. The highest experience in my life is Advaita. It is because of his inspiration I am living, breathing every single moment. It is because of Swamiji I am able to achieve big wealth, huge success and above all the complete completion. I cannot express more in just a few words. It is a very, very deep experience. It has to be uh, experienced by every individual. It is a rarest of the rarest blessing to live with a person like Swamiji. I want to thank Swamiji from my very soul, from my very being for all the things he has showered on me continuously. Thank you Swamiji. I want to go to Varanasi to uh, be with Swamiji. Varanasi is a most powerful uh, energy field which will awaken huge energy and being with Swamiji for 21 days is a real uh, spiritual treat for everyone because uh, it will help us to experience our peak possibility and uh, Swamiji said Varanasi the exact meaning of Varanasi is uh, the place where both the eyebrows meet that is the meaning of Varanasi and Swamiji said in that 21 days he is going to awaken the third eye of every participant so that we can do the blindfold readings and beyond that experience our ultimate reality because uh, I had a very strong experience whatever I am looking whatever I am seeing everything looks like a dream so that experience I want to uh, go deeper and uh, achieve the ultimate uh, state in uh, Varanasi by being with Swamiji so I am very excited to be there and experience the ultimate reality So the Nitya Yoga and Detox program is a seven-day retreat. In this detox retreat, we're not only working with the body as we cleanse and detoxify our body, but we're also bringing um, the awareness of all our energy centers and cleansing and doing that detox process in our emotions and wherever finding out where we are stuck. Also, we're working on the understandings where we have all the different tools on how to take this as a lifestyle, as um, not only for this process, but as a lifestyle technique. And culminating with a beautiful, very, very special Kalpataru Darshan from Swamiji, from Paramahamsa Nityananda, where after going through this cleansing and this detox, we are able to really identify and have more clarity in what exactly it is that we want to do in terms of our health, of our emotions, or anything in life that we want to start having this uh, initiation into achieving that successfully. So we invite all of you to come and join us in this very special Nitya Yoga retreat happening in Hyderabad Ashram. We have the early bird discount happening until March 10. So if you register before March 10, you will have a 10% discount on the registration. So please come, hurry up, join us and experience the ultimate possibility in your body, mind and soul. supposed to write um, 10th this year but um, so when I called first when I called my father and asked that um, will I be able to write can I write 10th this year at first he was like uh, no why should you really write 10th year do you really need it 
and then uh, so first when i asked he told he was like kind of no and then so at that point i i got powerless like i was like oh why can why can i not write this year and i was really powerless and then uh, the next day when i attended the satsang swami was talking about being in the space that you cannot be violated so i was like okay then uh, my friends also told me that when you go and talk from that space your father will surely accept so um um then so when he came back to ashram i uh, spoke to him and then he asked my father asked that uh, if i didn't write 10th year what will happen then um, i told uh, even if there is a situation like that i will not be violated and like that situation will not make me powerless i'll still be complete and then but i also want to write 10th this year and then so the moment i told this father, my father was like okay you can write 10th this year and i'll sign um before going to cambodia i couldn't go like i was not like about not to go to cambodia because my dad was having problems with his passport so one day i just like sat in kade space that i don't know what's going to happen i am going to cambodia so right the next day my dad's passport just like he does having problems but just like in that one day all the problems got fixed and i could go to cambodia few days ago while we were walking from gurukul to chitsaba i saw a bird injured so but at that point i was not in a situation to help it so because i had to move on to the next work i was not in a situation to help it so i immediately went on to the next thing i just thought where is it going to go it will be here only whenever i call it's going to come back so i just left it and then i went and then i i continued on with my work and then the next day i saw it back again but I, even the next day i had to move on to the next work immediately so i thought okay again you still come back and then i went then yesterday i thought it should come back where will it go till yes, uh, day before yesterday it was roaming outside gurukul then yesterday i suddenly saw it was sitting inside gurukul just outside my class so i thought oh wow if i can speak to anything which is not even like able to communicate with me so he just telling myself about it i felt that the part of me is in the same part of the bird also so i had this experience yesterday 2011 i came for engineers here the time I, when i was doing engineers one while going to the temple that way one dog was there well uh, <laughs> well I, when i was going the lo- dog was looking at me i thought oh you you it will chase me what to do i was very very scared i was just going on the side i don't know what happened that point suddenly the dog got up and started chasing i ran, i got scared i ran to the room i was sitting outside the room and i don't know what to do i was crying nobody is there to save me i was just I was depressed and crying then i didn't complete that situation and i i again went to my home then in i came for joining gurukul i i came to gurukul at the, at, at and the and the day i ent- uh, entered the ashram the same dog was there uh, i was i felt oh, you you the same dog again it will start chasing me if i come to the temple i felt like i, I should come out of uh, somehow i escape from this dog then i i didn't go to temple and i joined uh, i went to engineers again and came back again the do- i saw the dog then i joined gurukul and the maybe after joining gurukul and within one month i got a chance to go to temple i and few mas- a few of my friends went to the temple while walking and going i saw the dog the dog was sitting there i thought i okay did you start chasing i told them i don't i don't want to come to the temple i go back then they told come come then i felt okay we are we all in the same place only i i just told the dog don't chase me and be friendly with me i was just thinking of the dog the i was having the fear i was just walking the, the dog was walking beside me i was really got scared but till that time i went to reach the temple and the dog was waiting after i, I came out of the temple and dog came with me it's like it came like a guard for me after but when i thought i felt violated with the dog it started chasing me when i felt nothing can violate me that time it's my friend when the dog became a, a he got me the thing